little, you know, nightmares as a kid, but after finding out about lucid dreaming, I would just use nightmares as a reality check, and after that, they just stopped happening. So, w what are some of your dream signs, if you have any? Oh, my big one is fish. Like, I've bred fish, raised fish, ever since I was, like, ten. And uh, they're the only pet in my room right now, because dorms don't really allow cats or dogs or anything. So, um, if my fish are sick, or there's more of them, or they're fighting, or something like that, then usually I'm dreaming. It's something I look at every day, and it's something I dream about, like, every other day. Like, they make cameos, and when they do, they're bigger or different colors. It's weird. It's actually very convenient, too. Yeah, my only dream sign I've really used to become lucid is looking in the mirror and seeing that my hair is shorter than it really is. And that's, immediately I do a reality check right there. One time before I realized that was a dream sign, I actually started freaking out and like almost crying. It was pretty funny. Oh. So wait. So you got a thing for long hair? Yeah. That's good. If, I you, like, if you've seen I like... pics of me in the picture thread, you see I have longer hair. Yeah. Guys with long hair are pretty cute. Only if it's nice long hair. If it's greasy, it's disgusting. Banana, do you have greasy long hair? Like snake. Um, at the moment I do, but I'm gonna take a shower right after this interview, anyways. Okay. So, what what was your favorite lucid dream, or a few of your favorite lucid dreams? Hmm. Well, I had this dragon that I used to summon, and um, once we went to. Like, it started out as a depressing type lucid dream, because, like, certain dream characters were, like, picking on me and stuff like that. And, uh, eventually I went outside, and it's raining, and then I see the dragon. And so, like, I jump on, and we end up riding to this pretty place with rainbows and cliffs and stuff. But when I say rainbows, I mean, like, high dice streams of stuff. And there was music, and that has to be my favorite one, even though the pretty part only lasted about five minutes. Yeah, even then, five minutes is still a lot longer than most people get, at least before they become experienced in lucid dreaming. Mm -hmm. So, why do you try to lucid dream? Do you do it because it's fun? to get into your mind, or what? Hmm. That's, that's a difficult question, because I'm not actively lucid dreaming right now, but when I did, it was because I was pretty much in my house all the time, and uh, it was kind of a way to get somewhere else, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. I usually try to lose a dream just to be able to do things that aren't possible in real life, just to feel the non-limitation of dreaming. Yeah. I started making my own, like, dream story, and it had a plot, recurring characters, recurring places. And I think that was just for fun. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it sounds... Well, that, that's actually a pretty cool idea. I should try that sometime. Yeah. Um, how big do you think your loose account is? Mm, somewhere over a hundred. But I've, I've been going for like two years. Over two years. Um, mine's probably somewhere around... 100 to 200, because before I joined Dreamviews, I'd never write down my dreams, so I'm sure I'd had to count lists before that. Yeah. Um, how is your recall? Hmm. Well, again, right now, I don't write much. I usually remember dreams only if friends were involved. And, uh... But usually, 
when I'm in practice, I can remember two night, like two full run periods, and they're very vivid. Like it'll take me anywhere from ten to twenty minutes to write down dreams if I remember all of it. That can span like as much as three pages front and back in my journal, but right now it's like half a page, just basic plot things. I don't have much time in the morning anymore. Yeah, neither do I. Ever since school started, I've just been writing down a few keywords and then writing them down during school or when I get home. Oh yeah, first hour class, I do that too. So in the margins of my physics notebook, there's fragments of dreams. Oh yeah, that's, that's cool. Uh, okay, one question just for all the people out there who think they don't need a dream journal. Do you recommend a dream journal? Absolutely. Um, you can need it for recall so that when you do have a lucid dream, you can remember it fully. Even people who have good recall will have better recall if they keep a dream journal. You need it for getting patterns down so you can recognize dream signs. It's not its not always as easy as fish. It can be a theme, it can be an emotion, it can be people that are out of place. It can be more subtle than that. Um, there, there are numerous reasons to uh, keep a journal. Yeah, I, d I definitely recommend a dream journal too, because if you think about it, if you have a lucid dream, if you don't have recall, you're not going to remember it, so it doesn't really count. Yeah, and then you'll be able to remember it months and years down the line, because you'll be able to look back at those words and think, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, instead of like, oh, I remembered it this morning, but uh, now I can't remember what happened after that. Yeah. You'll you also see how your cha dreams change over time. Like one one time, for like about a week, I, I kept having dreams about theater and drama club. Then I didn't have them anymore. But for that week, it did help me get lucid. Yeah, I, I should definitely read over my dream journal and see how my dreams have changed. Even though recently I haven't been writing down many. So, okay, we have Slash here, Slash112 in the chat, and he has a question. What do you think your best accomplishment is? Hmm. In a lucid dream, of course? Hmm? Uh, yeah, in a lucid dream. Hmm. Well, that would have to be the finale of my first plot. Basically, there was this town, or this city, and it was cursed, so that all the people in it were invisible. They were, they were shadows. You'd only see them when there was lightning. And, uh, over the course of... <laughs> over the course of many dreams, eventually, like, I find this amulet and get it back to the town and use it and everyone's visible again. So I lift the curse. And that's probably my best accomplishment. Uh, that sounds really cool. I'd probably have to think for a while to find my best accomplishment. Mm, probably something to do with flying or something like that. I haven't really done all that much. But, okay, he has another question. A little unorthodox, but have you ever dreamt of being the opposite sex? Yes, but not in a lucid dream. In fact, one of the most recent times that's happened, I, I think I told no name about this, but um, a, a, another dream character realized that I was dreaming, and suddenly the perspective switched to this dream character, and it was a guy around my age, just a couple years older, and he's walking in the woods, he realizes, hey, wait, this is all a dream, but it's not my dream, it's someone else's, it's, it was weird. Oh, that, that's got to be pretty trippy. You know, I don't think I've ever dreamt of being the opposite sex. That'd be kind of hard, actually, to comprehend when you really think about it. 